Oh no, you know what that rattle is? It is the dad gum. It's a weird place to park a bike. So, yes, name my bike shop Maxwell's Motorcycles. A lot of you have mentioned that that sounds like a place that would sell bikes. Well, what if one day that's the plan? What if one day the time is now? Ha! Let me introduce myself. For those of you that don't know me, my name is John Max. I'm a highly trained unprofessional right here at Maxwell's Motorcycles. And on this channel, I bring you guys to work with me. So, if you want to learn more about Harley Davidson, you should hit the subscribe button right now. Yes, we are not just talking about a bike for sale though. We're gonna do a, well, okay. To be fair, I don't own this bike. This is a consignment bike. It's kind of how we're gonna start on the motorcycle sales side of things, make a little, little cash flow for the business. So, uh, today we're gonna talk about a 2018 Heritage. It's obviously, I'm a fan and well, I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna do a pre-ride inspection. So even if you don't wanna buy a bike, this video is still useful to you. I've done pre-ride inspection videos before, but hey, let's freshen up 2020 style. Let me uh, get the bike and we'll, we'll get started. Now along with this particular bike, I have a list of accessories and just information about the history of the bike. So I do know that all of the services have been performed by an authorized Harley dealer. Not myself, but hey, we'll hold it against the guy, whatever, use the different dealer. But uh, the bike does have, what's it got on here? 21,539 miles. So the 20,000 mile service was performed, which if you didn't know, is engine oil, primary fluid, and transmission fluid, among, you know, other things. But those are the fluids. So fresh fluids, just like if you were to buy a brand new bike. Definitely a plus. So we're just gonna go through and check those fluid levels, make sure that they're all right. We're gonna check tires, the belt deflection, and well, a lot of other stuff. This guy even mentioned, as a matter of fact, he even requested that the spark plugs be changed to 20,000 miles, not because of the mileage service interval, which is 30,000 miles, but there's a little notation in your service manual and well, your owner's manual, if you've ever read that before. I know it's not the most exciting thing to read, but there is useful information in there. It's actually two years or every 30,000 miles. This being in 2018, it is out of warranty. It's 2020, but it's two years old and he knew that even put in new spark plugs. That's something that pretty much never happened. So, you know the guy, he, he knows his stuff. He takes care of his bike. Let's check everything else out and see how everything looks. I do have a little saddlebag rattle. Let's fix that. Super easy fix where I'm just gonna loosen up this bag. All right, Woo. spin my fresh air around. Now I'm gonna take my hand on this bar, on the, the saddlebag support rail. I'm gonna pull it tight, close, close in, so that it's tight up against there, locked in. Then I'm gonna tighten. Oh yeah, smack the camera. So we're gonna go a little less than the 100 foot pounds they were set to. It made it a little better, but mine got a lot better. This one did not get better, but you know, what do you do? That's not the best design ever. Check this out though. He does have docking hardware for the Harley Davidson backrest and for a touring style tour pack. Backrest comes with the bike. Uh, there's a couple of extras we should, but we'll get through all the extras, you know, as I walk around the bike, but he does, he has a Harley Davidson backrest included in the purchase. For extra, he has 
A couple other parts I'll talk about at the end of the video. Let's get this pre-rod thing rolling. He has pretty much brand new Commander 2 tires, front and rear. He has plenty of brake pad in the back, like brand spanking new. Just shot 430 seconds on that tire. Now there isn't any type of warranty on this particular bike. This is uh, essentially a private sale with me acting as a middleman for exposure to help it get sold. Uh, it is a big deal though that the bike has been inspected and I have every intention of inspecting it extremely thorough for, uh, you know, make sure that there shouldn't be any sort of issues out of this bike. That said, now a lot of you guys are gonna be familiar with extended service plan or any other sort of aftermarket warranty. Any of that can be purchased for this bike. It more than fits the criteria for a aftermarket warranty. What all of those have in common is that they actually cost money where a factory warranty is included in the purchase of the bike. Uh, I seem to have lost my valve stem. If y'all didn't know my little trick, that, that's my trick. No, I'm just kidding. So if you started the valve stem, which is right here, just on the other side of the wheel, then you know if you've gone in a whole circle. Out of the interest of keeping this video not three hours long though, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the front. I'm gonna check the brake pads. Uh, this is for you guys at the pre-ride, uh, as much as for this bike's integrity. I'm gonna check the tread depth, the brake pads, and the spokes on the front. I'm just not gonna show that because that makes for a really boring video and <laughs> audience retention is a thing. Either no or you don't. While we're up here at the front, I will mention this is a extra part, a genuine Harley Davidson engine guard. No scratches. That's a really good, uh, you know, somebody, they always say that a bike has never been dropped, which if it has been dropped or hasn't, it doesn't really matter. The issue with that is, is there's still damage from the drop. So a couple things to check on a bike that's never been dropped. Corners of the engine guard, tips of the levers. You drop a bike bad enough for it to matter, one of those two things is gonna be scratched. So this one is scratchless. Genuine Harley Davidson 360 adjustable highway peg mounts. Kuriakin footboards, uh, uh, put pegs. You got a solid, uh, you know, bigger than a peg, smaller than a board, whatever they call that. Ha! Ah! Let's keep going. <laughs> Ooh, it even has an upgraded K&N filter. That is not the normal Harley-Davidson filter. It's not very focused, but yeah, you get the idea. It's a, that's an oil type, not a oilless like Harley's normally are, or the factory Harley. He did mention he has, who did he contact? He contacted somebody. American Custom Catalytic Converter Delete. That's my colony. Let me, let me get that. Did mention he has been servicing his bike at a different dealership, not with me. Let's check something really quick. I want to see how good this place is. Not horrible, but it could be better. Let me show you a little trick to these new 18 and later uh, pegs. A little bit of, bit of Inox down in here. I mentioned this stuff on the channel before. I need to order some for my shop. Oh, the money. Oh, it's so smooth now. Oh, glorious. All of the glory. Let me go do the other side. Yes, sir. Oh, it's so smooth now. While I'm over here, I did check the belt. The belt is it's good. It's good. That's it. That's a pre-ride check. Do that. Let me put this stuff up. So I get asked a lot about 
If you really need to check your kickstand, well, yeah, you absolutely do. Something is going on with this one, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna try to check it out here. And yeah, so he seems to be missing a clip on here. I can tell because the bushing isn't seated. See, so it's got this bushing right there and it's not fully seated in there. So I'm gonna check that out and see if I can't make it fit in there like it's supposed to really quick. I've never taken one of these apart before, but I realized really quick that, uh, well, the whole thing just comes off in two little bolts. So that's your kickstand, 18 liter soft tail. This thing should go all the way through and have a clip of some sort on it to look it up. Simple snap ring just goes on. It's got a little groove in it. You can kind of see that right, right there. So maybe I can find one the right size. Sit around here somewhere. Get a little lubrication going anyway. All right. Put this thing on the ground. Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna go find one of those. Uh, put this back on and then Check a few more things, dude, and the pre-ride's done with. It's very simple. I'm gonna go ride this bike too and give it the dirty thumbs approval. Coming up. Okay, I found a little something something to go in there. So maybe this'll at least keep it in place while I order the part that's supposed to be there. And I can not have any trouble out of it. So finish this up. And we'll uh, check these controls, go ride it. So when I check the controls, I basically just go through and with, you know, a, a reasonable bottle of strength, attempt to move the levers, the switch housings and mirrors, you know, all that stuff. I don't necessarily grab a tool and put on it that's a bit unnecessary and too time consuming. If you can move it with regular amount of strength, you know, then it's loose and you need to tighten it. One thing to mention too though, is on non-throttle cabled bikes, you can still check the throttle and make sure that it freely snaps back and that it moves nice and free within its motion and doesn't get sticky or fuel grows, anything like that. My first test ride, leaving the shop. When I stand out here, I set my doorbell alert off. So I pretty much spend the whole time looking at my watch cause it's like, hey, somebody's at your door. Oops. So I got cut off earlier about this exhaust. They he had it decatted. Let's listen to it. Pretty decent throaty sound um, out of that, actually. Still looks stock though. He does have a pro tuner uh, on it. I don't think I mentioned that aftermarket uh tail light or well it's a harley davidson tail light led though pretty sharp motor sounds good a little louder exhaust that i don't say for a ride see how it feels it's so weird riding a stock heritage again i haven't ridden one of these in a while this is part of a test ride though or i mean the, the, obviously it's part of a test ride this is part of doing a legitimate inspection. Is uh, I can already hear a rattle. So this is part of why you ride it. That rattle is gonna be a heat shield. Oh, this visor's dope. I've been swapping out my, oh, this is the first time I've worn this helmet. This is the new Moto Vlog setup. Oh man, it feels so good to be on a bike. Ooh, I feel like I've been working all day. This is actually like two days later from the last little bit. It's been raining like crazy. So I haven't been able to go ride it. Didn't want to wash it. I got to take pictures of it. So link down in the description is this bike's uh, for sale page. You know, if you're interested in a bike, check it out. So we're just gonna ride around and see how it feels. And that guy came on hot right behind me. Y'all see that? Find that other camera you did. 
and I already know that the bike is safe and all. I always like to look at the bike before I ride the bike, but then I like to know, um, you know, like I hear that heat shield rattling, so I'll, I'll tighten that up before I call it good. Pretty much my test ride route though I just ride right down the street then I can hit the interstate right here and hit speed you know now whew, man Milwaukee 8s are so freaking smooth dude I don't even feel like I'm going that fast but yeah just a little quick little ride to make sure everything feels good it does One thing I check for is uh, make sure neck bearings feel good so I can go to 50 miles an hour, kind of hover over like this. I don't have any wobble in this bike at all. It just tracks super smooth. It's one thing I check on test ride. I'm listening for wheel bearing noise. I don't hear any. Usually about 15 miles an hour. I'll hear one roaring if it's bad. Oh no, you know what that rattle is? It is the dead gum evil gas cap rattle. What a pain. All right, well, at least I don't have to go hunt down a heat shield. These 18 soft tails, they're stupid rattly gas caps. Could have been fixed under warranty. Now this bike's out of warranty. Maybe we'll uh, have to throw in a new gas cap on the uh, work order oh yeah she's a singing too that's so annoying all right I'd already checked on my electrical so I want to hit this left turn signal everything's gonna work which is good everything feels fantastic I don't even know if I've talked about the price of this bike available right here at Maxwell's Motorcycles. It is $17,000, which is right in the middle. It's, it's average retail, high retail on NADA for this bike is about $18,000. And low retail is about 15,000. This bike is in really good condition. I've looked at it, you guys have seen it. Everything is tip top. It's super clean right now. I do not even like detailing bikes, but this bike is sharp looking now, buddy. Shiny. So, yeah, that's pretty much the deal. It's linked down in the description. If you have any questions about pre-rides, um, throw them in the comments. Maybe I'll be able to get to them, talk about them a little bit. So, yeah, if you like this video, I wonder where I am in the frame of that camera. I have no idea. I don't usually film like this. So, let's try it. If you like this video make sure to get a big dirty thumbs up if you want to learn more about the bike check the link in the description if you want to see more content like this in my very own maxwell's motorcycles shop make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't seen, quite seen all of the content you want there's a video right here and here and i'll catch you guys in the next one